Hello everyone. Welcome to the next session of our training. In this session we will be seeing how to use Visual Basic application within Microsoft Excel. That is first we will see how to open Microsoft VBA editors in different ways and we will see functions and subroutines what is the use of functions and subroutines and how we can write functions and subroutines how to execute a VBA code and how to execute the VBA code step by step that is the interesting part of doing Visual Basic application that you can execute the program step by step and check whether your program is correct or not and we will also create a simple VBA program to start with our course. So let us open our Microsoft Excel 2010. So right now we are in Microsoft Excel 2010. To go to Visual Basic application, that VBA application screen, you can simply go to Developer tab. We already added this Developer tab in our previous session. Just select the de Developer tab, then click here Visual Basic. And you can also see that you have a shortcut Alt F11. You can see in the display. If you click here, then you will get a different window where you have the Visual Basic application. Here you can see the VBA project. This is the project that if you see it gives you the worksheets. Right now we have worksheet 1, 2 and 3. We have 1, 2 and 3 and this workbook. This is, the, this is called the workbook and this is the project. And here you can see the properties of this particular worksheet worksheet 1 if you select the worksheet second worksheet then it will show the worksheet 2 yeah this is worksheet 1 then worksheet 2 so properties of this project this is the left side of this VBA you can see also Microsoft Visual Basic application so you can keep this both this window side by side whenever you are working in our coming section also we will also use it like this that we can keep this both the windows side by side. This is the programming Visual Basic application window and your actual worksheet. Here, right now, this you can see this is grayed out because we do not have a coding here. Okay, right now, if you see our this area is grayed out. If you want to add a code Visual Basic application program, then we can add a module. So right now in the project you have only the sheets worksheets so we can add a module if you go to insert then you say module this is forms where you can design a screen but we will not get into that detail of these forms we will be using a simple worksheets so that the 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 objective of this course is to make it very simple for everybody to understand so let's say if you are a very good visual basic application programmer or a user then you can use forms and you can also integrate forms with this one that is then you need to go for a visual basic application programming course which is not covered in here so we will we will directly go here and create a module okay this is the place where we will be writing the codes visual basic programs visual basic codes now let's go back to our presentation. Now we need to understand what is the difference between functions and subroutines. In Visual Basic, a set of commands to perform a specific task is placed in a procedure, which can be called as a function or a subroutine. The main difference between the VBA function and VBA subroutine is that a function returns a result whereas a subroutine doesn't do that. Therefore, if you wish to perform a task that return a result, for example, summing of mm, group of numbers, that you can generally use a function. But if you just need to set an action which you want to carry out, for example, formatting a cell in your worksheet, 
then this can be carried out by a subroutine. So we will see some example here how to create a, a subroutine then we will be understanding this very clearly. So we will make a very simple coding right now to see how to create a subroutine first. So let us create a very simple subroutine. The subroutine starts with command line sub. Then we need to give a name for this subroutine. This is add then we put an opening bracket and a closing bracket. When you enter then we have the end of subroutine. When you see we started typing sub in small letters then when I press enter then it formatted to yes, yes become capital then the, the color also changed. That means the, the command what we have written is in the correct syntax. If if there is an error in the command what we are writing, then it will give you a indication warning with a underlined red mark. So our subroutine name is add numbers. Now we will define some variable. Let's say a equal to 10 and B equal to 15. So I want to add A and B. So C equal to A plus B. Okay. To output this value of C, we have a statement called message box message box C you can also see the message box when I specified MSG box in a small letter when I say enter then it the the actual syntax was corrected by VBA easily so it's very easy to learn VBA. As soon as even you should have seen when I type MSG box and it gives you the full syntax of this specific statement. So you don't need to remember the entire statement. You can just uh, learn it from here. And if you don't know, it's quite simple. There's a lot of helps available in internet. We can Google it and find out this information. So right now I created a subroutine to add two numbers and I wanted to output this number. So if I wanted to execute this specific subroutine, we can click run and run the sub, run sub. We can go to run then run sub. That is shortcut is F5. So instead we can also click this button. If I say enter, okay, this is a subroutine macro name which we are trying to run. Say run, you get number. Now you got the output as 25. Now we entirely executed this function by pressing F5. If instead of going here, I'm right now simply pressing F5 then I got the result. Now instead of this we can execute step by step. So to execute step by step you go to debug and step into. So one again you can go to the next step like this you can go. Instead you can use the shortcut key F8 it will be quite easy. Right now if you see the value of A is empty. If I click F8, then the value of A is 
10. If you take the mice over to any variable, then you can see the values. Now B is empty, execute, then it's become 18. Now if A is 10 and B is 15 and C is still empty, if I execute, you can see C is 25. So far, C is 25, we did not output this message. Now the next command is outputting the value 25. So it's output the value 25. So here, again, the subroutine ends. So all the sub has to end. So because you can also call a subroutine within the subroutine, you can call a different subroutine from here. So you need to always end the subroutine. So this is a very simple subroutine. Now you know how to create a VBA code, simple VBA code. Okay, we know how to open the VBA editor. We know how to create a subroutine, how to execute step by step. We also seen in a simple VBA program. With this, we are coming to the end of this session. Thank you very much for listening. I will see you in the next session. Bye-bye.